आई एम डॉक्टर दिव्या मदान वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आज यू ऑलो आई एम करेंटली परसिविंग माई एम डी इन पेडियाट्रिक्स फ्रॉम एस एम एस मेडिकल कॉलेज जयपुर दिस वीडियो इज़ अ राफ काइड फॉर ऑल दोज एंथुजियास्टिक फर्स्ट ईयर रेजिडेंस गोइंग टू जॉइन सून जॉइन देर रेजिडेंसी एंड आई हैव ऑप्टेड फॉर पेडियाट्रिक मेडिसिन सो दिस इज दिस वीडियो इज जस्ट अ राफ चेक लिस्ट ऑफ ऑल द आइटम्स दट यू शुड हैव बिफोर जॉइनिंग रेजिडेंसी सम ऑफ द एसेंशियल आइटम्स दैट यू विल नीड थ्रू आउट योर रेजिडेंसी and uh, you cannot miss out on these items uh, a sort of checklist that uh, you should go through before packing your stuff and joining your college so let's go through it so first of all a good pair of scrubs and shoes i cannot reinforce how important it is to have some uh, comfortable clothing on your long stretch of duty hours so scrubs uh, now there are many companies many uh, So brands that are promoting scrubs recently uh, aditya had this uh, kanya med scrubs and uh, they are amazing and some of my colleagues also mentioned that their scrubs are amazing uh, this video is not sponsored by them but i have really heard some good reviews about them i personally have used their apron lab coat but uh, not their scrubs and i think that if i am i plan in future to buy some i get a hands on them and experience them a good pair of shoes uh, preferably some good comfortable uh, shoes i had my nike shoes on all the time during the first year second is apron or lab coat which is essential as an identity of a medical student or a doctor third is stethoscope there is a debate between whether to buy a litman classic 3 stethoscope for dual heads or a pediatric one uh, according to me i had the classic 3 one during my internship and uh, during my uh, non academic jr ship in aims in pediatric emergency and i believe it works uh, equally good as compared to the pediatric one in fact the acoustics are better when compared to the pediatric one because the size of the bell or the diaphragm is uh, more fourth is uh, reflex hammer I cannot tell you how many times you will examine the child, the neurological examination of the child, and you will need them. You can choose a set of these hammer neurological examination hammers, or the one you feel uh, handy, right? Uh, so most of my uh, colleagues they have this uh, the Queen's hammer or either this classic hammer, the Taylor hammer I use uh, because the other end can be used to elicit the plantar reflex. Fifth is pen torch. Uh, I use this portable GoPro pen torch. Uh, sixth is inch tape. Uh, you'll need to record anthropometry for almost every other child that you'll admit, and uh, I cannot reinforce how many times you will use this. So having a good pair of inch tape, I use the retractable ones because easier to carry, and I don't have to worry about the mess uh, or getting uh, the inch tape getting entangled, right? uh so for your help uh, just uh, i have uh, put uh, listed out all these items in the description box you can find them on uh, amazon uh so it will be easier for you the seventh is pulse oximeter so um when it comes to children uh, the appropriate size of the pulse oximeter the appropriate size of the cable is not available most of the times but i have been using this doctor trust uh, junior pulse oximeter since two and a half years now uh like for the initial 6 months of my residency i had this cheapest one uh, cheapest adult uh, pulse oximeter pulse oximeter but i realized soon after that it's better not to have one than have a bad one so you can go for this doctor trust pulse oximeter for kids uh eighth is glucometer most of your wards and uh, hospital would provide you this but this is something that you should have in your bag ninth is uh, dipsticks like uh, the, the protein dipsticks or ketone dips, uh, dipsticks uh, you will realize their importance when you are dealing with the children with nephrotic syndrome or dka so these dipsticks are essential 10th is sanitizer have a gel based sanitizer or either the disinfectant that are, that is used in your wards in a tiny spray bottle that is that is handy and should be in your bag all the time Eleventh is some spare tissue and wipes, obviously, uh, because children uh, more than uh, just being cranky, they sometimes vomit on you, they sometimes spit on you, sometimes you have blood splashes over your skin. 
so it's better to have some spare tissues and wipes for all that third is some toy something to attract the children i usually carry this bath uh, bath tub squeezy toys to attract children because they make weird sound the sounds as well as well as they look very attractive fourth is something that uh, i frequently uh, get a query on instagram that what is this that you are binding on your stethoscope the marvel one the captain america one and everything i want to tell all you uh, all of you that it is just a cord binder a wire binder that I, that i put on my stethoscope so you can find them on amazon and also uh, i have mentioned some of my favorites in the description box and last is a sling bag uh especially for the first aid residents to have all of these items handy with you all the times have a good sling bag a sturdy one and uh, so that you can accommodate all these good items so that's it for today's video i hope uh, uh, you have the time of your lives during your residency and all the best be prepared happy learning and uh, be in touch with your close ones make good friends and i hope uh, this is a good learning experience for you Bye bye see you next time